guys welcome to another episode of the delicious etiquette series and today i'm going to be sharing with you etiquette for when you attend a nigerian event <laughs> So at some point in our lives, at least once every quarter, we have all been invited to an event. And then when I say event, I'm talking about weddings, I'm talking bridal showers, I'm talking naming ceremonies, I'm even talking formal dinners, formal parties, informal parties, just any event that basically has a minimum of about 10 to 20 guests or a maximum of maybe over a thousand or 2000 guests will be considered an event and in this video I'm just gonna be sharing with you some tips on how to behave <laughs> when you attend an event I, I know I said a Nigerian event but I think it, it's not just peculiar to Nigeria it can be an event anywhere in the world before we go into the video for today if you haven't subscribed to the channel now would be a good time to subscribe our goal is to hit 1 million subscribers before the end of this year I know that it's very achievable and possible and I need you to take action now and just click on that subscribe button and join the family. We share two videos every week, um, recipe video tutorials so that you never run out of ideas on what to cook and then of course we also share etiquette videos as well to guide you and help you feel confident when you're living this thing called life. Without further ado, let's go right into today's video shall we? The very first etiquette tip on my list would be please kindly send in your RSVP. Now, what does RSVP mean, you might ask. Now, RSVP just means respondez s'il vous plaît. <laughs> it's a French word for actually responding to an invite. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm not French, I'm Nigerian, so pardon the pronunciation, okay? For those that are already judging me, I can see that you're judging me. Why are you judging me for pronouncing that wrong okay. okay, let's go right into the video. <laughs> <laughs> dramatic much so RSVP is actually very important because it helps the host of the event plan the event a whole lot better it just simply means you responding to an invite that was sent to you I think it's the right thing to do and it's the respectful thing to do when a person invites you for an event just take the time a few seconds to just text back or email back or, or, or call back um, I know they usually put the phone numbers of or, or, or contact detail on how you can reach them back to so just let them know, oh, I'll be coming for this event or, oh, I can make it for this event. That way the host is able to plan for your coming or is able to just take you out from the invite list if you are not going to come. They, are, they will save the money for whatever it is that they plan to maybe serve you at the event or um, take you out if you're not going to come so that you won't, um, they can plan their sitting arrangement a whole lot better. So I think it's just a respectful thing to do to just let the host know whether or not you are coming. So always RSVP for an event. It's very, very important. I like to host um, little get togethers here and there throughout the year. And I always like, or I actually make it mandatory that everyone I have invited must send me a feedback to let me know whether or not they are going to come. I don't want to plan for people who do not show up. I think that that's very annoying when you have spent so much money planning on for someone and then they don't show up. It's annoying. Never do it. Always RSVP, okay? The second tip on my list is never go to an event with a plus one. If the invitation that was extended to you doesn't say plus one, never just show up unexpectedly with a plus one. If you have been invited for an event and you know that you want to go with somebody, it's just respectful and reasonable of you to just reach out to the host and just put a call through and say, um, I have someone I want to come along with. Is that fine? And then the host will let you know if it's possible to come with a plus one. Sometimes it's really not easy um, and, and convenient planning an event. And then when the host is taking the time to just plan for the specific number of invites, just showing up with someone else might just put them in the frenzy and you do not want that if if hosts are like me i literally take my time to plan for everyone so if you come to my house and show up unexpectedly with someone else it it it, it, it throws me off and puts me off and i'm like okay i didn't plan for this guy 
what am I going to do? What am I, how am I going to entertain him? I always like my guests to have um, the most amazing experiences. So don't just show up with a plus one. Reach out to the host and get feedback from the host on whether or not you should bring one. And then if the host says, oh, there is no availability for a plus one, take it in good faith and just show up on your own. But if you don't want to show up alone and by yourself, just tell them you're not going to come for the event. Okay, stop. Let's stop this thing in 2020. So where we are doing Mobomoya. What does that mean? Mobomoya. Mobomoya. That's what they call it, yeah? That's what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop it. It's not okay. No. No. I heard a branch is different from coming with a plus one. Yeah. I think coming with a plus one is tag along. What they call that? Is it tag along or something? Yeah. Let's, please, let's not do it, okay? It's 2022, please. Shut up. Thanks. The third etiquette tip on my list would be to dress for the occasion. Now, different events have different reasons and different themes. So it might be a wedding event, a traditional wedding or a church wedding. You don't want to go for a traditional wedding looking like you just are just come up from the church. So you don't want to be wearing hats and suits and heels at a traditional wedding or sorry, shoes at a traditional wedding you want to look more traditionally so just dress for the occasion if you're going for a formal dinner for example don't go there tying your round bar put on an evening a formal evening gown and like just just dress the part basically and then of course if the event you're going for is a themed event and um for example it, it can be a cinderella theme it can be um you I don't know, maybe dress a, 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 a theme that has you dressing like the um, you're from the 90s. Just try as much as possible to stick to the theme so that you don't look like the odd one out. Maybe it's an all white party, for example, and you, you come there wearing black. You will look odd and be, feel like the odd one out and you will spoil the aesthetics of the event. So please always stick to um, just dress appropriately for the events, okay? The fourth etiquette tip on my list would be always go with a gift. Gift giving is something that we should price above everything else, especially when you are invited for an event. You can think of inexpensive, and please don't be giving your friends inexpensive gifts this year. Give them thoughtful gifts, no matter the cost, okay? It's very important. Don't be looking for the cheapest thing to give someone who is valuable to you. Yeah, I know thoughtful gifts can actually be inexpensive, but when you're thinking about a gift to give someone who has taken the time to invite you for something, let money not be the first thing that comes to mind. The first thing that should come to mind is the thoughtfulness of the gift, whatever the cost. But always remember that you should always go with a gift. I know when whenever my friends invite me for their house parties or get together, the easiest or simplest thing to go with is maybe a bottle of wine. But if I'm going to go with a bottle of wine, I always ensure that it's a bottle of wine that tastes good. And of course, I'll first of all um, figure out whether the party, the party where um, alcohol is served. And then when I've um, figured that out, I'll go with a bottle of wine that I know tastes good and everybody can partake of. So always go with a gift okay thank you the next tip would be arrive on time <laughs> there is no such thing as, as african time i've been to events that literally would say events is starting at three and you see people walking in at 7 p.m to look for who or what <laughs> or what how Yes, I get it. Like coming to an event when they okay, if the event says 3 p.m., I'm not saying show up at exactly 3 p.m., but just be fashionably late, but not overly late. Okay, uh, please just try and arrive on time because sometimes the host of the event may already have a flow of events and then has decided that the flow will probably start at the exact time that was put on the invitation card so if you decide to be there an hour later you would have missed out on a lot and maybe just maybe you were supposed to be a part of the flow of events so if a guest has if a host has taken the time to put the time just try as much as possible to arrive at least within the hour of that time okay not then or sex who are you going to meet when you get there five hours later how about let's do better okay thank you the next one is throughout the course of events, always ensure that you have a friendly disposition. You never can tell who you're going to meet at this event. It can be your life partner. It can be a new business manager, but people only would approach you when you are smiling or when you just have a friendly disposition. 
So don't go to an event where everyone is supposed to be happy and excited and rejoicing and just happy and you're there looking like someone just stole something from you. No. Always have a smile on your face, be very welcoming and receptive of others, communicate, gesticulate with your hands and just have a good time. Let people know that you are approachable. Okay, you want more people in your corner, not less, okay? Networking is very important and the one way to network is just to have a very friendly disposition so that people can approach. And then don't just wait for people to approach. You also approach them and start up conversations with them. That's how you get to meet new people and you just never know. You just never know who you will meet at that event that might change your life forever. <laughs> The next tip on my list would be if you have been given an assigned seat, please stick to the seats that you've been given and don't stress the ushers or those who are organizing the seating arrangements and go sit down where you're not supposed to sit down. I know some events these days are very particular about the seating arrangements and they have taken the time to plan the seating arrangements. So if you come there and you sit in a seat that's been assigned to someone else, you're going to be causing a lot of confusion. So if there is seating arrangement at an event, ask for your designated seat and please sit down on it, okay? It makes life easy, it makes the flow of things easy, and then it makes the ushers at the event feel easy as well. Shorty ball, like please, like I've seen a lot of events where people just fight unnecessarily for things that they shouldn't even fight for. So please, if you've been given an assigned seat, go and just sit down there and be happy for it regardless of the position. Remember the event is not about you, you're just a guest. So be a guest and obey the house rules, okay? When you're organizing your own events, you can decide to create your own rules and people must abide by, okay? Remember that what you do to others is what they will do to you at your own event. So please, let's be guided, okay? The next etiquette tip would be, don't be a form of distraction to others. So at events, you have different types and different categories of people. And whether or not it's a formal or an informal event, please don't be a, a source of distraction. And um, you can be a source of distraction by um, putting your phone on ring mode where it just rings out loud and then you disrupt the flow of everyone's attention or you're shouting at, or yelling at a waiter or you're shouting and yelling at the servers or the ushers or you're just being loud. Maybe you're gisting with a friend or a partner and you're just being loud with your voice and distracting everyone. Always ensure that you do not be a source of distraction because you are not the only one at the event. So keep it low, keep it proper, keep it prime and keep it classy. Okay, remember, you are an elegant person, so be elegant. Thank you. <laughs> the next tip I'm going to share is on table manners. At every event, there will definitely be food and there will definitely be drinks. So whether or not it's food that is given to you or brought to your table or maybe it's a buffet style setting, regardless of whatever it is, please I ask that you kindly, kindly stick to your, bring your table manners with you. If you really do not know so much about table manners, I implore you to just go watch the videos that I have created on table etiquette. I think I have about two or three videos on this channel on table etiquette. I'm going to put the links to those videos in the description box down below so you can check it out and see the do's and don'ts um, on table manners. You have to bring your, ma your manners with you to an event that has a lot of people in it because that's a public place. So you have to behave correctly. So go watch those videos just in case you do not know so much about table manners. The next tip on my list would be don't fight for food, guys. Especially got my Nigerian people. <laughs> Stop. Don't go to an event and fight for food. Why would you want to go to an event and fight for food? If the food is not getting to you, it's okay. Okay, yes, I know. You, most people go for the events because of the food and the drinks that they would have. But why? In fact, the next tip on my list says don't go to an event on an empty stomach. Before you go for an event, make sure you eat. Eat and be satisfied. Just in case you go there and the food doesn't get to you. 
it's okay sometimes um i know a lot of us get upset when we go for an event and we don't eat but you need to understand that sometimes life happens maybe the food isn't just enough maybe the, the waiters are not the, on their best performance and then they just miss you it's okay if it doesn't come to you don't go to an event without eating so that you don't end up being very grouchy and very annoying okay thank you the next tip on my list will be don't pack food in tupperwares don't pack food and nylon don't pack food in nylon it's not okay mm? please it's not okay even just makes you look very 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 raz <laughs> okay thank you the next tip on my list would be join in the flow of events so everyone is supposed to be a part everyone is supposed to partake in in the event so whatever activity that has that is um, designed for that event be a part of it if everyone is asked to stand up and sing a song please stand up and sing a song don't be a party spoiler or don't be a, a, a what's it called a party pooper yeah I think so I think that's the word join in the activity be a part of the event so get up and sing with everyone if everyone is going in circles go in circles be a part of the activity be a part of the be a part of the event that way you get the most of the events so many people complain that they go for events and events is boring I don't think there's anything as a boring event it's only as boring as how much you decide to partake of it so regardless of the activity join in the fun and just be a part of it okay that way you get the most of every event the last etiquette tip on my list for when you attend an event is please limit your use of technology and by technology i mean your phones your gadgets your ipads your everything don't be overly on your phone don't be overly on your i know yeah parties are a time where you take pictures and all but don't be overly doing this all the time like and then don't be taking pictures of people that have not given you their permission to take pictures mm? so limit the amount of time you bring out your phone and uh, taking pictures and then don't just be overly on it maybe chatting with people be in the events partake in the flow of the event okay okay guys so um these are some of the tips that i have for when you attend an event i know that i haven't exhausted it all if you have more tips to share please kindly share it in the in the comment section down below so that we can all be a part of this conversation and if you're hosting an event i'm sure this has also helped you on how you can actually create some ground rules so that people who are coming for your event will know exactly how to behave when they come for your event but don't make it so strict you still want people to have a good time okay but regardless make sure that you are an elegant person when you attend any event anywhere in the world all right guys i'll see you next time with another etiquette video until then take care guys